In this video, we will be solving this question which says Joe Bob has a utility function given by u of x1, x2 is equal to x1 square plus 2x1, x2 plus x2 square. With this information, our first part says compute Joe Bob's marginal rate of substitution or MRS which is a function of x1 and x2. Now, what do you mean by MRS? By definition, MRS measures the slope of indifference curve at a given bundle of goods it can be interpreted as the rate at which the consumer is just willing to substitute a small amount of good 2 for good 1. And mathematically, you can calculate MRS as the derivative of x1 with respect to x2 or which is equal to minus of mu1 divided by mu2. Now, what do you mean by mu1 and mu2? mu1 is nothing but the marginal utility of good 1 which measures the rate of change in utility associated with a small change in the amount of good 1. That is, mu1 is equal to the partial derivative of utility function with respect to x1. Similarly, your mu2 is nothing but the marginal utility of good 2, which measures the rate of change in utility associated with a small amount of change in good 2. So, mathematically, your mu2 is partial derivative of u with respect to x2. Now, let's calculate the MRS for the given function. You have u as function of x1 and x2, which is equal to x1 square plus 2x1, x2 plus x2 square. From here, your MRS is equal to minus of mu1 divided by mu2. So, let's first calculate mu1, which is nothing but the partial derivative of utility function with respect to x1. So, differentiating this function with respect to x1, I get 2x1 plus 2x2 or I can write it as twice of x1 plus x2. Similarly, let's quickly calculate your mu2. That is your marginal utility of good 2. So, your mu2 is partial derivative of utility function with respect to x2 partially differentiating this function with respect to x1 i get that 2x1 plus 2x2 which is equal to twice of x1 plus x2 now putting the values of mu1 and mu2 here i get minus of twice of x1 plus x2 divided by twice of x1 plus x2 this gets cancelled with this and this gets cancelled with this. So, your MRS is minus 1. So, the answer to this question is minus 1. Now, note here that MRS was initially a function of x1 and x2. But here, we are getting a constant. Which means, the consumer is willing to substitute a small amount of good 2 for good 1 at a fixed rate of exchange, which is minus 1. That is 1 unit of good 2 in exchange of 1 unit of good 1. Here, I am particularly using your calculus because it makes the calculation very easy. So, and I would recommend you if you are not able to get the how I am differentiating these utility functions. So, just quickly revise your calculus and this would be nothing but a piece of cake for you. Now, moving on to the next part. Here, Joe's Bob's straight cousin Al has a utility function of V of x1, x2 is equal to x2 plus x1. Now, we are asked to calculate Al's marginal rate of substitution. Again, your definition remains the same. Bear your MRS measures the slope of indifference curve at a given bundle of goods. And mathematically, it is nothing but the derivative of x1 with respect to x2, which, which is equal to minus of mu1 divided by mu2. So, now you have the function as v of x1, comma x2 as x2 plus x1. Your MRS is equal to minus of mu1 divided by mu2. Let's calculate mu1 and mu2 first. So, mu1 is partially differentiating this function with respect to x1, which is nothing but 1. And mu2 is partially differentiating this function with respect to x2. That is your v here. We would be using v with respect to x2. That is again 1. So, your MRS is minus of mu1 divided by mu2. So, my mu1 is 1 and mu2 is also 1. So, your MRS is minus 1. Again, note here that your MRS is constant, which means rate at which the L would be substituting good 2 for good 1 is constant. Moving on to the next part, the question says, do u of x1, x2 and v of x1, x2 represent the same preferences? 
कैन यू शो दैट जो बॉब्स यूटिलिटी फंक्शन इज अ मोनोटोनिक ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन ऑफ एल्स द क्वेश्चन हैज टू सब पार्ट बट मेजरली इट्स आस्किंग फॉर सेम थिंग सो इफ द जो यूटिलिटी फंक्शन इज अ मोनोटोनिक ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन ऑफ एल्स दिन दे वुड बी रिप्रेजेंटिंग द सेम प्रेफरेंसेज नो वट यू मीन बाय मोनोटोनिक ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन फॉर दैट लेट्स डाइग्रेस फॉर अ मिनट monotonic transformation first thing to note here is that whenever we are talking about monotonic transformation we are considering only positive monotonic transformation and ignoring the negative ones so this is of no interest here so in microeconomics whenever i am saying about monotonic transformation yeah positive monotonic transformations are implied so be very careful about this after making the clarification let's understand what do you mean by monotonic transformation or positive monotonic transformation your positive monotonic transformation is a way of transforming one set of numbers into another set of numbers so that the rank of the original set of numbers is preserved it is thus a function f mapping from real numbers into real numbers which satisfy the property that if x is greater than y then f of x is also greater than f of y simply it is a strictly increasing function now what do you mean by that in economic terms does any positive monotonic transformation of the utility function is also a utility function representing the same preferences as the original utility function because such a transformation preserves the ranked order of the original utility numbers and hence the ranking order of the bundles based on the preference relation so if i begin with the utility function ux and then use the positive monotonic transformation f to get the new function vx which is equal to f of u of x then vx is also a utility function representing the same preferences as the utility function ux also the rate of change of f of u or vx can be measured by looking at the change in f between two values of u divided by the change in u so what do i mean by that that is change in f with respect to change in u that would be f of u2 minus f of u1 divided by u 2 minus u1 so for mo monotonic transformation your f of u2 minus f of u1 always has the same sign as u2 minus u1 that means this would be always positive that is monotonic transformation always have a positive rate of change which graphically means the graph of a monotonic function will always have a positive slope as depicted in this figure so here in panel a illustrates the monotonic transformation the one that is always increasing and panel b illustrates the function that is not monotonic since it increases and sometimes decreases so here you can see it is decreasing but here it is increasing so this is not a monotonic transformation whereas this panel is a monotonic transformation as it is always increasing so after learning about the concept of monotonic transformation let's understand if we have a utility function or if we have any kind of function then how would we we tell that is that a monotonic transformation or not you have two approaches with yourself the one is by using the simple maths which in this case would not be so simple and the other is would be using your calculus approach so your simple maths would be this there where you have to calculate this expression and see if this is positive or not but that would be a very cumbersome method so i would suggest you to use calculus for checking if you have a monotonic transformation or not now how do we check monotonicity of function using calculus for that focus on the concept which says it is a strictly increasing function or it has a positive rate of change that means your first derivative which is your f prime x should be positive and if i map this in this particular case that would be your v prime x should be strictly positive now after learning about the monotonic transformation coming back to the question we learned that the monotonic transformation of a utility function is a utility function that represents the same preferences as the original utility function so if we are able to show that u of x1 is a monotonic transformation of v of x1 then i would say that yes they are same preferences and secondly we learned that 
monotonic transformation always have positive rate of change now let's begin with a solution we were given that u of x1 comma x2 is equal to x1 square plus 2 of x1 x2 plus x2 square whereas v of x1 comma x2 is equal to x2 plus x1 now note that we are also given a hint that some have said that Joe's Bob utility is a square. That means this is a square of this. What do I mean by that? That if I square both sides for this particular function, that would be V square of X1 comma X2 is equal to X1 plus X2 whole square. Now let's simplify it. That would be V square of X1 comma X2 is equal to X2 square plus 2 of x1 x2 plus x1 square rewriting it or rearranging it it would i would get x1 square plus 2 of x1 x2 plus x2 square which is equal to v square x1 comma x2 and this is nothing but your u of x1 comma x2 so what i'm able to get is v square x1 comma x2 is equal to u of x1 comma x2 now for a minute let's omit x1 and x2 what i'm able to get is v square is equal to u and if you know that if you take a square of any function that would preserve your preferences and if that is the case then yes they are a monotonic transformation but in case you're not satisfied with this reason and you do not recall squaring preserves your order and your preferences remain the same, that means it would lead to a monotonic transformation. What you can do is you can always opt for a calculus method. You can always, I always give preference to calculus because it eases our calculation to a great extent. So we just learned that a monotonic function always have a positive rate of change. That means if we take a first derivative of this function, that should be positive. So if I take the first derivative of u, which would be u prime, that would be nothing but 2v as u is equal to v square. And since v is always positive, since x and x1 and x2 can be either positive, or 0 so since this is positive v is positive and if i multiply v a positive number by 2 i would get a positive number that means my u prime is positive that means my u is a monotonic transformation of v that means joe bob's utility function is a monotonic transformation of else and if they are a monotonic transformation of each other they represent the same preferences by definition so the answer to the first sub part is Yes, U and V represent the same preferences. So that was all for this video.